Hey man, you need to hear this. If you're looking for fast, cheap, and reliable muck coins, I highly recommend to check out my sponsor, DMC Discount Muck Coins, and use code 187 for 10 percent off at checkout. Ranking goes. He and I also noticed looking at his roster, he's not using that escape bars or that that hot route master. So I'm excited to see how he can play offense. It's a little bit tough when you don't have one of those abilities. Well, let's go over to Don't Care About Ice. The youngster feels like he's been playing forever, but he's still on the younger side of Madden at 20 years old from Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. That has greatness written all over it. And you see that offensive ranked. He's in the top 16 and throwing the rock. And something to say about Ice is he loves this tournament. This is the one tournament where he's had true success in. He feels like he's, he feels like he's the Jets champion, you know what I mean? He feels like he's supposed to come in and win this tournament every year. Don't care about Ice Speed lights out in the winner's bracket to get here. AKG looking to finally get over the hump. Can he do so? Who is going to represent the New York Jets in the final to face Evil Ken? We'll put 20 minutes on the clock and find out. As we kick it away here in the second semifinal, and AKG is going to get it first. He'll bring it out of his own end zone with Peterson and he gets a little bit away. Here's those abilities right here for AKG. Yeah, I love to see the jukebox on Clint Portis, especially when I seen the no ability on his quarterback. That was a little scary for me, but seeing that jukebox on Clint Portis just makes me feel good. On the other side, don't care about ice. Mike Vick's going to be using the escape artist, and there's a slot apprentice from Marvin Harrison. Yeah, so we've seen Blocky miss a lot of throws with that Lamar Jackson escape artist. This Vick isn't going to be missing those throws. This Vick is the best quarterback in the game. A lot of cap. Oh, absolutely. And when you're going in on Vick, you're going all in. And we'll see if he can bring some of that Madden magic. Here's they set their audibles. Looks like we're ready to go. In this pivotal semifinal game with Evil Ken waiting in the wings. AKG will be in the white uniforms with the green pants. And Ice will be in the green tops with the white pants. And they hand it off to Clinton Portis, and he's tackled right there by Lawrence Taylor securely. I think we're going to see AKG go to this sweep a lot because he's running this West Coast playbook, but he has no escape artist. It's really, really difficult to run this playbook if you don't have the escape artist, but he sneaks in Clinton Portis back there. Look for him to get sticky with Clinton Portis in open field. Second and eight after the gain of only two. I want to say a happy Friday to out those out there that have been rocking with us all through this Madden Club Championship. Rogers, quick throw. There's Ross. Misses a man. And he's going to find the sideline at the 38-yard line. Quick gain of 14. Yeah, phenomenal stick work right there. Probably should have been a gain of about three or four. AKG makes a miss, picks up 15 yards. And, you know, something I noticed right there, he ran that play called wide receiver post and motioned over a slant. In my opinion, that is the best play in this game. So that'll be a first and 10 now. Rodgers in the gun for AKG. And that's the wild thing. He's got Clinton Portis to get it done on the ground, and then he's got a lot of talent on the outside. And Rodgers can't get away from Clowney. What a block shed, just bullying his way in there. And Clowney's going to do that to you, and that's the thing. That's where having that escape artist is really good. You can get out the pocket, throw the ball away. He's just kind of stuck right there with Aaron Rodgers and has to take the sack. So now push him back 10, and then back-to-back -back tackles for loss. Actually going to say he got half a yard there, third and 19. I'd really like to see ice drop in coverage here. You never have to worry about the scramble for 19 yards without escape artists. Just drop in coverage. AKG here on third down. We'll go to Ross. Ross will put on the speed, but Troy Apke will wrap him up after a gain of 15. Here comes a big fourth and short. I know he didn't pick up the first down, but that's a win for AKG. You know what I mean? He, he was expecting to have to punt in this situation 100%. He doesn't have that escape artist. He's not spending a ton of cap on offense other than that running back. So he was probably expecting to have to punt here. And to get into a fourth and manage more is a win for sure. No way. A lot of AKG fans. Ice certainly a polarizing player in the Madden community. You either love him or you're hoping AKG gets the win here. Kind of like Duke basketball. That's the only way I can put it. Fourth and three. And there is Harrison. We'll pull it in at the 36. And we've seen AKG shaking his head. That was like that was like him complimenting himself. You know, like, I ain't missing that. You know what I mean? I'm not missing that. 
And I would like to see ice. I would like to see ice drop in coverage. I really like to run coverage versus these non-mobile quarterbacks. Not to say Aaron Rodgers isn't mobile, but he doesn't have escape artists, so it's really tough, difficult to get out of the pocket. Especially with the two edge rushers he has, is there is Jadavion once again, his second sack of the ball game. And both times Ice has dropped in coverage, he's, he sacked him almost immediately with that Jadavion Clowney. Former Gamecock putting in some work here early in this one. Second and 18 behind the chains again. Portis makes one miss, but Troy Apke coming in from the free safety position to make the tackle. And it looked like AKG could have maybe cut that up a little bit earlier and picked up six to eight yards. Instead, he tried to go outside. We'll go for the big gain, and uh, Ice got the block shed. A little bit easier of a tackle there. Brings up a, a much difficult, much more difficult situation. Yeah, it needs about seven yards to get in field goal range. We'll see he does here on third and 16. Bunch formation to the left. He's going for it all. And he will check it down to Ross. Ross gets in a field goal range, Ooh. gets a little more first down. Sticky. Working inside the red zone all the way to the 14. That was sticky, Scott. And you know, that once again, it looked like that was a play where he should have got six yards, ends up getting 25. You know, that th those are the difference in games. Like if you're ice, you just got to sit down and make a tackle, force your opponent to kick a field goal. You really get that up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. AKG clown in here at the end of the first. He's going to have to run a play here. I talked about that momentum for ice. <laughs> I mean, when it goes well, it, it builds them up. When it goes the opposite direction, it has the same effect. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, I can really ap appreciate that patience that AKG yeah. showed on that play. It's really easy to just throw the ball away there. He kind of bought some time for himself with that Aaron Rodgers playmaker to him. Realize he was maybe going to get, he was going to for sure get the field goal and then makes a move inside, ends up picking up the first down. Just a great play. Waning seconds here, the first in a scoreless ball game, but AKG on the move. And he'll stretch it out to Portis. Can't get a block. But he does pick up three at the end of one. AKG zero, ice zero. As we move to the second of the five minute quarters. Here in the first half, Scott Cole, Sirius Mo, hanging out with you on a beautiful Friday here in San Francisco. Let's say hello to all those Jets fans. Been to MetLife plenty of times. It's a tremendous atmosphere. They love their Jets. That's all no, I'll tell no you. They love that. those Jets. Second and seven. And he'll hand it off to Portis. Portis with a little move. Oh. Run. Still gets two. I mean, even looks like when he's met at the line of scrimmage, he gets something. It looked like he juked one too many times there. It looked like he juked out the first guy, got caught on his lineman block, lineman's back, excuse me, and then he kind of panicked and juked again when I think if he would have just relaxed a little for a second, he would have slipped in there like we've seen from that Bo Jackson a few times yesterday. Needs five here on third down. They'll mark the ball at the nine yard line. Here comes the second play of the quarter. Brings the bunch out. We see a lot of players go to that mesh post concept in this situation and look for the running back where the post on the outside bunch side. They're running. They're running. They're running. Got to get to the four yard line. And it aboard us. Come on. I said he was running. He was right. Six carries for seven yards. Ew. All right. Yeah. AKG didn't do a good, very good job of hiding it there. He he audibled right away. So he audibled right before he ran the ball. So it was a little bit obvious that he wasn't making hot routes. That's why Ice was able to realize that he was running the ball. But if you're AKG, that, that drive is a win. You probably should have got stopped at no points in that drive. This is where it gets and, funny, and, and Ice, it Ice just funny played here. pretty bad defense in a few it's situations. So that, <laughs> that, that, that was a fine drive for AKG. You know, I love getting points on my first yeah, drive and, and working fun. through it going forward. AKG, super excited to run that defense out there that he spent a lot of cap on. And this is the first time Ice will see the football. That was a long opening drive, taking up six minutes. So Ice will set his audibles here, trying to be a three-time champ. He's won 10 grand over his career, doing most of his damage inside the club championship. He's got 26 wins. If you do the math, 26 wins, 10 grand, 
that tells you he really needs to move on around to 32 to try to up those career winnings. Yeah, uh, 26 wins and only 10,000. 10, it's kind of unlucky in the, in the MCS era. You know, that, that's a lot of wins for, for just $10,000. And that, all that tells me is he's done a lot of his winning in the club championship because there's a lot of online play. There's a lot more games to be played than there are at the Classic or, or the Madden Bowl or, or even the uh, the – Madden Challenge. There you go. <laughs> Had to work through that one. The one me. you haven't won. Yeah, absolutely. Well, actually, was 16 the challenge? Oh, 16 it was. was the it challenge. was the yep. challenge. I take it all back. First to 10. I didn't, that's the one major I didn't call, so it, I sort of put it there. out of my mind. I think Vic Skimbo has to. Yeah, I, need, I need to get that Madden Yikes. Championship out of the way, though, man. Uh, that's the big one. This shit is so sleepy. I don't think Problem's going to give you that belt. You might have to call B. <laughs> I think you got to call B uh. to get that belt back. 3 nothing in the first quarter in this one. And Ice with the ball for the first time. Second and nine. Michael Vick experience time. And before this drive started, AKG was excited to be on defense. He said, this is where it gets fun. And I, I love that. You know, as a defensive player, I love when players are confident on defense. We don't see it a lot in the Madden community. And there is Torrey Holt. And you're not you're not going to see a lot of deep throws here from Ice, who's won it back to back in 18 and 19. The only person who's ever represented the Jets. That's saying something. They've only had one club champion. It's been this youngster right here as he gives it to Marvin Harrison. There's some goons in that secondary, so you're not you're going to have to kind of dink and dunk against this defense. And that's exactly what AKG's thought process was when he didn't go with the escape artist. He's saving a ton of cap there. Gonna, gonna get the goons on defense, and this is where he wants to win the game is on defense. I mean, you got Palomalu in prime time as your safeties. And he'll hand it off to the Nigerian nightmare, Christian Okoye, and he gets a yard. And I love, if I'm AKG, I love when my opponents waste plays going to these formations, when they're great passers. I love when they, they take, take away from themselves and start running the ball out of these near formations where they're almost guaranteed to only get a few yards. That was Fletcher Cox and Telvin Smith on the tackle. That'll bring up another second and long as we hit the two-minute warning already. I was warning everybody, man, we got passers all over the place. This Jets might take a while. But all four of our competitors have been very patient on offense. Second and nine. Moss, little motion, keeps him in the block. Buys time with Vic, and he'll slide down. They'll mark him at the 48-yard line. And that was just phenomenal user there by AKG. Took, a, took away the corner route for as long as he could, and then ran back to the post. They like. And AKG will talk to the admin. Heard a little bit about I'm a, I'm a. controller setup. Something that he doesn't like. And we're going to have a big third and six incoming. And that, this is the difference, you know, when Ice wasted that fullback dive, ran that fullback dive, gets himself to a second and nine, instead of just passing the ball, he could be at third and two or even picked up the first down. When you're a, when you're a passer and you're spinning all that cap on Michael Vick, I would like to just see you sit back and air out the ball. Well, we got a moment. Let's listen to these players as we got them wired up. Come on! You really gave that up. <laughs> you're running. You're running. You're running. You got Vic to run there. Vic to run there. Yikes. And that's the ins and outs of bad in football. Chess match on the field. AKG, I mean, only got three points on that opening drive, but looks really confident here on defense. Absolutely, and I can tell he's trying to get in Ice's head a little bit. You know, you're running, you're, you got in that, you, you got Michael Victor on near. You know, that's something I would say. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm really saying, please keep running near. You know, keep, please keep wasting these downs. You know, because AKG doesn't want him passing the ball with Michael Vick. He doesn't want that. He doesn't want him to be able to scramble with Michael Vick. It's much better when Michael Vick's just handing off the ball. If you're evil Ken back there, I know you want AKG for a revenge factor. But I think he'd rather face, don't care about ISIS defense than this AKG. Oh, for sure. And, you know, AKG has all of them defensive backs. But one thing I will say is he has all them defensive backs, but Evil Ken's in a uh, two tight end formation, so he's going to be able to run the ball a little bit easier, you'd think. All right, they got everything ironed out. 
Something to do with the controller setup for AKG, and we're back at it here on third down. Something he didn't like about his setup. Coming up on 90 seconds to go in the half. Both players with all three timeouts as Torrey Holt motions out. And Great Fick work. can't get rid of it. That Jadavion has been everywhere. <laughs> AKG's oh, having some man. fun up there. You know, I love to see that. But I will say that was phenomenal lurk. He took away, he took away, he pretended like he was going to go guard the streak. He had no intentions of ever guarding the streak. When people send out that running back on the wheel route, that's all they want to throw to, and he knows that. Porta's able to He'll get a little boy. bit on the return. Aye. Ball at the 25, 78 seconds to go in the half, and he'll have all three timeouts to work with. You get a touchdown here. That'd be huge for AKG. Especially when he has those defensive backs. Those guys are not going to be getting open downfield. Portis finally gets to the edge, gets by Apke, and then forced out of bounds at the 29. That'll stop the clock. Actually, use the timeout. Oh, They're going to say that was tackled say, inbounds. And he has to use the first of those three timeouts. Yeah, pretty fortunate play there for AKG. He tried to stay in bounds, it looked like, with Clinton Portis, but the defenders pushed him out of bounds. And this is also going to give AKG a little bit of time to get Clinton Portis back, back from tired because he was beaten red after he had the punt return and then ran the ball with him. So AKG here on second down. Last thing you want to do is give the ball back to Ice. Chance maybe tie this thing up before the half. Yeah, this, this needs to be the last drive of the half, 100% if you're AKG. They give him four yards on first down. Rodgers in the gun here for AKG. Looking downfield, what? and he can't Why throw it away. Why are you spinning? Throw the ball away. You see that sometimes where you don't get far enough outside the pocket and they turn back the other way and can't get rid of it. Third and 20. Gets it out to McDonald. And it'll be a second timeout coming in for Ice. Forces a fourth and 14. He'll have uh, to Aaron punt Rogers, it he's me down, back bro. to the youngster. And what happened on that second down? AKG was trying to get Clinton Portis back, back energized, and what happened was he had to come out and play and just snap it. He was extremely uncomfortable and ends up taking a sack. It was Gary Sayers. He's got some space. Oh, my the goodness. Kansas Comet. You got to take that outside there. AKG's starting to talk to himself now. It looked like AKG might have had a 10-cap chasing Gale Sayers, and if he would have just taken that outside, he would have gotten much more yards. One of the best return guys in the history of the NFL. First and 10. 50 seconds, one timeout here for Ice. It's been a low scoring affair here in the first half. Vic, buy some time, he'll throw it deep. On, AP can't get Moss. there. Randy Come Dandy on. Moss is in for six. And I thought that pass was going to get intercepted. I thought Patrick Peterson would have got back there and made a play, but Ice throwing that at the perfect time. I'm sure he's ran that route hundreds of thousands of times. You know, just, just really good timing on that route. Looked like it was going to get picked off, but that's why he's a great passer. Well, you play great defense all first half. Then you give up a 61-yard bomb to Randy Moss. And just like that, the two-time champ has the lead. Peterson will take it out of his own end zone after getting toasted. And he'll bring it out to the 25. Look at it again, Mo. It looked like he had Patrick Peterson in a deep, deep half, but he just wasn't able to get there because he was pressed against the line of scrimmage. Just a great play. Not the best defense from AKG. I wouldn't have been playing that, that dangerous of defense with only a minute left and a half. So just, just a little bit of a questionable play call, really, on defense. Rodgers throws. He's got Torrey Holt. And the former NC State Wolfpack will take it to the 48, and here's a timeout. Great, great patience there by AKG. I know how badly he wanted to throw it deep to that post, but it was double covered. Throws the dig at the perfect time, picks up 20 yards. Yeah, be careful you don't find yourself getting up more points before the oh, half, and he'll dang, just throw it bro, away. Absolutely, that is always really, really scary in those situations when there is only 45 seconds. It's really hard to not give your opponent the ball back. It's it's really difficult to just not turn it over in those situations because it's like the clock's working against you. You feel like you have to get points, and that's where a lot of players make mistakes. Remember, Ice will start with it first in the third quarter. Rodgers. Look for RB late. Looked like he might have thrown that to X. He's in no man's land, and it'll fall to the turf with 17 seconds to go now in the half. 
And this is a crucial third and ten. He absolutely needs to get this third and ten. Motions out hold. Looking, looking. And he'll force Jesus. it in right over That's King. So he'll use a timeout, so and you Thank gotta you. kick your three. I was great, grateful for to kick his three. You know, he couldn't be any more excited. Was not supposed <laughs> to get points before half right there. Not a very good throw. Comes down with it in traffic though, and we got a one point game. Well, was a hot one right over the head of King. And now we got a 48 yard field goal. It's up and it's good. One point game now with five seconds remaining in the half. Bro, just get seven. I swear to God, he wants to. Go. Just get seven. Swear. There's Christian Okoye. Give me that. And we'll have two seconds. Here's he's forced out of bounds at the 26. Probably just see Gale Sayers get the ball here. A little stretch, maybe. I don't like AKG coming out on 3 4 odd to end the, end the half, though. This is a little bit scary. And he will hand it off to Sears. Breaks one tackle, breaks another, but will be gathered up at the 29-yard line, and that's how the first half will come to a close. Seven to six. I didn't Here. expect it to be that low scoring at all. I, I thought we would see some fireworks in that first half. They're going to face Evil Ken. He is waiting in the player's lounge to find out, will it be Ice or will it be AKG, the guy in his post-game interview that he certainly wanted a shot at. And you know, if you're Evil Ken, this is kind of a really good situation for you. Both guys are running very similar offenses, so you're really preparing for one person. They're both running very, very similar gun bunch formation, West Coast playbook. The only difference is AKG has a running back with ability, and Ice has that quarterback with the ability, Michael Vick. Well, here we go. Second half action here in semifinal number two. And Ice is going to get a start with it as AKG will kick it off. Ten minutes left in the ball game as Christian Okoye will field it at his own 15. He takes it past the 30-yard line, and they'll mark him down at the 33. That's where the drive will begin. And, you know, we see a lot of people use that Michael Pruitt, only 14 cap at the tight end. Not Ice. Ice is running out the best tight end you can. He's actually a fullback, but he's really fast. He can truck. Just going to be a su such a difference maker if he's able to get him in the flats open. And even versus clouds, he's going to try to truck the clouds and get up the field. We don't see that a lot. So first and 10 for the 20-year-old out of Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. And he'll hand it off to Gail Sayers. The Kansas ah, Cup. bad stick. We'll Hell. lose a few yards. I just lost like three. I just don't like seeing ice run the ball. I really don't. It, it just it kind of digs at me. It, it makes me cringe a little bit because he's just so poor with his with his vision in the, in the open field. But when he's passing the ball, he's making all the right reaches. Can stick with the pass. You're a great passer. And here we go again. He got him. Tory oh. Hall and overthrew him just a little next bit. Way, next way, next way, Looked like way, he might have been able to I run for ran. 22. Yeah, absolutely. That's what he's saying. I could have ran. You know, I thought he had him. You know, and that's why I don't pass the ball. Because that, that looked like it should have been picked after after it was all said and done. You're more of a Ezekiel Elliott armbar kind of guy. Yeah, get it up the middle. Let Zeke fight a little bit. You know, play some defense. Don't make it too tough on yourself, kid. And we're going to have a stoppage in play here. And it's AKG that will use a costly timeout here early in the third. And a lot of people are against using that timeout, but this is such a big play in the game. You got to think there's all there was only what four possessions in that first half. If you're able to get a stop in one of those, it changes the game entirely. So third and 13. Here from the 31 yard line. After We're going to see AKG put seven guys here. Here they come. Here come the heat. Vic trying to get away and he'll throw it away. And here comes a fourth and 13. What's up with this one? He's going to get his boot out. What a stop coming out of the locker room. Absolutely. We, AK, I thought AKG would blitz seven. He actually got caught at the line of scrimmage with Deion Sanders, so we just ended up blitzing him. Ended up sending eight guys, and the pressure got there, luckily. Portis will take it out to the 36. There's got to be someone else on that punt return team. I, I don't like when you're when you're a runner. I mean, I guess I don't know what he is. Is he running? Is he passing? I mean, he's, he's been sort of balanced. I feel like when you spend 100 of your 825 cap on a running back, you're a runner. <laughs> well, here he is, Portis. Maybe he should have taken it to the numbers. It was just him and Wilson. He'll pick up the first down near midfield. Yeah, I would have just ran directly at Brandon Wilson there, made him chase me, and then try to juke him out. Don't juke back into everybody. Just, just go to the open field until you can't no more, and then juke. 
It's a questionable run stick in the second semifinal. Of course, AKG representing the Bronx, 22 years old. He's won five grand in his man career. 16 wins, 13 losses, and a lot of them coming here in the semifinals with the New York Jets. Rodgers and Aaron will take off and slide down at the 45. That's a quick six. I know you guys at home are probably wondering why AKG is flipping through all these different formations when he's just coming out on that gun bunch. What he's doing is, you see, you'll see Clint Portis go yellow, go red. What he's doing is he's buying time for Clint Portis to become healthy again so he doesn't risk fumbling and he's still able to juke at that elite level. So second and four, AKG on the move. He was semifinalist with the Bills and then runner up last year at Mad Night team. Of course, in Madden 18, he was part of this Final Four once again for the Jets. So he's certainly been a staple as they hand it off to That's Clint. Portis, Portis makes a man miss, gets outside Wilson. Will he turn on the Jets? 10-5, touchdown. Great stick work there by KG. He finally ran to the open field and then juked. And, and that's exactly what you need to do when you got that jukebox. You need to wait for it to be a one-on-one -on -one situation. I would really like AKG to just not go for two here. I think it's a really poor decision because your opponent's almost never going to take six minutes off. Well, here's a two-point conversion, trying to make it a seven-point lead. Here with 243 to go. Rodgers. Got him. Low throw. Torrey will hold on, and the two-point conversion's dot, good. Dot, 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 dot. I swear, you get stopped here, you lose. Do not get stopped. You're losing. And it looked like AKG actually chose a random play right there. He actually came out and like spread just because of the coach suggestions. And it ended up working out for him. I think he didn't even want to go for two, but then he was just out there and he's like, ball out. Oh, I want to bowl a bunch. I'll draw something up. Well, here's a look at the touchdown one more time. Able to juke out and then Wilson's not going to catch him. Yeah, Clint Porter's just way too fast for those DBs that Ice is running out there. And Ice has to run out those poor DBs because he's spending all that cap on offense. So it makes it really tough if you're not able to score every single drive. You have to be able to score every single drive if you're going to run out all this cap on offense. And then after the two-point conversion, he hit him with the ellipses. Dot, dot, dot. And we just continue to see Ice waste plays to start his drives. You know, he's really put himself in the hole almost every single drive just trying to get a free one, but it's just not working. You need to just air it out. You're a great passer. Win yourself the game doing what you came here to do. I mean, I love seeing Gail Sarris touch the football, but not for Ice as there's Torrey Holt. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's been a big factor. Okay. The seven-time Pro Bowler will pick up the first down. Part of the greatest show on turf. <laughs> Bro, I have an ad There for right the Rams. <laughs> oh, my God. First and 10. Boy, no safety help as he hands it off. That's bad, Paul. Every first, down, every first down. Every first down, he, he just wastes it. It's either, it's either second yards. 10, second Pass 11, second and 15 now. It's think? like, just air Whoa. it out. You're passing the ball successfully, and you're putting yourself in tr tricky situations when you run the ball. You got hit with the be easy. Second and 17. Under 75 seconds to go here in the third. Ice. He's got a tall task here on second down. Second and 17, all because he ran the ball. Drops it off to Christian Okoye, gets a block. But what a shed there by Ward, able to get off of it and make the tackle. That was actually really good stick work there by AKG. That easily could have been oh, a 20-yard game. That, was, that could so have easily been a 20-yard right game. <laughs> He's so nervous. Oh, man. Third and seven. Winner will face Evil Ken coming up next. Vic, here comes the blitz, Ooh, quick throw, Troy with the Come hit, on. and he can't get the tip That's drill. Seven, bro. And one Man. thing I'm seeing from AKG that is even more impressed from last year, his user is way better on defense. Can we talk about how he, he just nervous. took away a he wheel route on the Come left on. side of the field? And a, Send them dogs at him. And a, a little tiny curl on the right side. I mean, that's almost impossible to do. Just great bait there. Even with that, Troy Palomalu doesn't have the best speed. Vic, can he pick up the blitz? He'll step and throw. Torrey Holt's got to get there. He will. He's got a lot of space. They won't catch him. 
And Tory Holt pinning the PAT has tied us up. I don't like my guy pausing after touchdown. He's like, every time I blitz, they score touchdowns on me. What's up with that? The admin kick. He can't give you any help. Every time I blitz, they score. Oh, man. Yeah, it looked like he looked like he got caught up in a bad defense right there, and he tried to dive and stop him from the, making the first down, and he had no chance of making that tackle. He should have just wrapped him up, gives Ice a free touchdown. And when Ice is really kind of struggling offense, you can't do that. Looks like it's confidence. Maybe he got a little shake in there on that last play. A good craftsman never blames his tools, but certainly could make the stop as Torrey Holt picked up the first down and then he was gonzo. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, th this is a situation where we would like to see, we would like to see AKG call this out in the first quarter. You know, if his, if his controller's having a little bit of trouble, you know, it's not, it does, it's not a very good look after you wait till you got, had your opponent to fourth and 10 and then give it up. You know what I mean? It, it just looks a little silly. Longtime Madden player and longtime admin Justin Chow out to talk to AKG. Certainly Chow's been in these situations many times, but I just don't like a guy pause. Pause it after the, I mean, I guess you got to pause now if you're, I mean, they're, they're not going to call this touchdown back, let's be honest. Oh yeah, this touchdown's 100% going to stand. This, this touchdown's 100% going to stand. Maybe AK just wants to swap out controllers, you know, he just doesn't feel comfortable with that controller, which is fine, but that touchdown, of course, has to stand. Are you a bring your own controller from home kind of guy, or you, you pick up something that's on the rack when you come in? Uh, I, I normally try to bum off my friends because uh, <laughs> I always forget the controller. You know, I'm I'm like such a laid back guy. It's just like when I get out here, bringing my controller is just not the the thing that's on my mind. And then afterwards, if if the controller malfunctions, I have somebody else to blame. It's just a good feeling. Remember, he was complaining about his controller in the first half. So now he's going to change it out. See if that changes. This game as we got a point after touchdown coming up here for ice to tie us up at 14 apiece. And if AKG had been playing for a long time, I'd say it was a bit of gamemanship. You know, maybe take a little bit of the momentum out, but certainly he was concerned. We're tied at 14 after six plays, 72 yards, and Ice is back at it. And the good thing about this is if you're AKG, is all you need to do is have one good drive here. If you're able to get points on this drive, there's a very good chance you win this game. So it's still 0-0 with only a one quarter left to play. You're, you're driving the bus. This is a rematch of last year's Jets Club Championship where Ice took home his second title. He's trying to make it three in a row. AKG is trying to get there for the first time. If he can win this one and then beat Evil Ken, who kind of called out AKG in his post-game interview saying, that's the guy I want. He wants a revenge game in the final. 14-14, 14, 14. 14 seconds to go here in the third. Here's AKG will go to the air. And just an accurate pass to Ross, who's really been a bright spot for him. It looked like AKG threw that in the right window, but the pressure just came at him and forced that inaccurate throw. So that brings up a second and 10. Rodgers moving in the pocket, throwing to Torrey Holt. What pocket presence to pick up the first down. Scott, that was nasty. I, I, don't, I don't know how he did that, and that's why I don't sit back there and drop back unless I got that escape artist. I need to be able to just run. That pressure looked like it was going to be a free sack. AKG picks up. Puts his running back in position to block the, the guy blitzing from the opposite side of the running back. Sets up, throws a perfect throw. Breaking news, Aaron Rodgers is good. As Portis runs over. I'm seeing a lot of trucking. I'm trying to juke. Why is he trucking? <laughs> Bro. We haven't seen Clint Portis truck very many times this weekend. Uh, but I think the first time, and it worked successfully. Second and seven. 4.30 to go in the ball game. And in our second semifinal, Portis couldn't juke nah, away there. Yeah, juke like, you know, bro. Oh, Looked look like he might have juked a little early there. If he would have juked just a second second later, that might have been a touchdown. He, he's kind of in his feelings right now, Mo. Yeah, he's, he's overthinking it. Just, you know, you got to play offense. You know, that neither one of those plays were good plays at the end of the day. Third 11. Slant. The tie ball game. And he's going to throw it to the sideline, and Ross makes the grab. Bro, that was so hot. That was flaming. That AKG was so trolling hot. a little bit. You don't think so? You know, that, he, you I feel like hot? that wasn't a very good play. No, AKG's hey. like, nah, that's a dot. You know, that's, that's, that's how we drew it up. <laughs> 
Big grab along the sideline by Ross. That'll move the chains all the way down to the 30-yard line now. Ball on ball across me 80, right? And Portis gets caught up and then just what? See what had happened Bro, was. There's just no way this keeps happening. There's literally no way. If you're AKG, you gotta lock in for four minutes and go win this game. You 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 gotta get out your head. You <laughs> Bro, know what I mean? He's coming out and plays early now. He's not letting Clint, Clint Portis even get healthy. Just snapping the ball with 17 seconds left on the play clock. Comes back double juke time. That's gonna be close to the first down. It should be. First and 10 at the 19. He's in tied the red zone. But if he would have milked the clock there, he would have been maybe one first down away from just kneeing out this game and kicking a field goal for the game. Now Ice is in a position where, although it does stink that AKG is inside the red zone, he's going to get the ball back almost guaranteed. Portis, the second round pick, number 51 overall. But if you had draft champions right now, he'd be the number one. Yeah, especially if you plan on running the ball at all. This is the guy. First and 10. Just inside the red zone. AKG has to snap this ball under 240. Snaps it early, and this might cost him. He makes a guy miss. Forget about it. We know nothing. Oh, know, AKG bro. knows Dude, all bro. touchdown. Stop, and I swear when you have over. jukebox, just, that just don't really him. matter. You buy some time. Just stop him. Come on. He's so nervous right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. And the kick is up, I'm and it's good. And I don't, I don't know. He's saying he's nervous. AKG might be the nervous guy up seven. <laughs> yeah, I would say so too. You know, we, we didn't see him complain about the juke there, the accidental juke there. So, you know, that's always good to see. Here comes Okoye. And he'll get a little more. It's out to the 39. This is a great return. Let's look at the touchdown run again. Just a phenomenal juke there. You know, he, he jukes off Vita Vea. Nobody on ICE's defense is fast enough to, to catch Clint just, Portis, just and that's him. just the facts. Stop him. Come on. Well, Ice has won he's this so twice, right but now he's back against the ropes as AKG looking to advance to the final for the second straight year. But the championship for the Jets has been what has been just out of his reach as he's come up short time and time again. Gets it to Christian Okoye. Will this be his time with 2.30 to go? And it's a little bit scary if you're AKG because you're sending all those guys and you're going to leave the flats open a lot. And that's okay if you're playing against Michael Pruitt. But when you're playing against Okoye in those flats and he has that speed and he's able to truck your little cornerbacks, it makes it a little bit more difficult to run this defense. Gets the snap off before the two-minute warning. Vic rolling out. He could run here. Past the 50. 45. Oh, boy, and they'll mark him at the 43-yard oh, line. So at the two minute warning, seven point game, but Ice is on the move. And that's the first time we've really seen Vic leave his mark on this game, and it came at a very crucial time. So a new set of downs, 158 to go. Does have all of his timeouts. Here, he here comes a blitz Come from here, the backside, Ice. and Come they'll here. sack him up. Come here. Lawrence Taylor, the former Tar Heel, getting in there on the sack. And we'll see, we'll see this Michael Vick be able to run away from that Brandon King, those 10 cap guys. But that Lawrence Taylor fully powered up, you're just not going to be able to get away from him. Do not throw through the flats. Do not do it to yourself. Don't. Second and 21. You got time. Vick. Throw it. All day. Throw it. <laughs> and oh, he'll get the first down. Hit that man. Out of bounds at the 31. <laughs> there goes that man. I would have loved to see AKG have a spy there and just kind of drop in coverage. Don't let the quarterback run for a first down on second and 20. 50% of the folks out on Twitter thought AKG would, would win this 33 in favor of ice. Certainly the marquee matchup here in the semifinal. So scary. <laughs> And that's in bounds. Clock will tick, tick, tick away. That's a that's a much bigger play than you would think. I know he only picks up a couple yards, but he stayed in bounds, and we're seeing that clock tick away. Almost 25 seconds has ran off since that last play. 52 seconds now. Quick throw outside. Christian Okoye hey, got a and a great hey, tackle hey, hey, by Peterson. And here comes a timeout. He's got a Madden Ultimate Team defense out there. I mean, there's goons everywhere. And it looks like AKG is going to keep sending this pressure. I would really love to see him drop in coverage now and just kind of play that clock and put put ice in an uncomfortable situation. Throws it to Randy Moss, turns it upfield, and be tackled at the eight-yard line in bounds. If you're AKG, I would make this be ice who controls the clock. Do not control the clock for him. Do not burn your timeouts. Realistically, you're not going to get the ball back with enough time where you're going to be comfortable scoring anyways. Make ice have to score here. So first and goal. 
Looks like they actually marked him out there. They will say he stepped out of bounds at the eight yard line. Fortunate for Ice is Sayers. Loss two. Running game is not it, Chief. Deion Sanders on the tackle. And after, after seeing that Ice did get out of bounds there, it does make it a little bit easier if, if you are AKG. You can make more sense of maybe using your timeouts and trying to get the ball back and just trying to break one with Clinton Portis before the game ends and then just take it overtime if all else fails. But when if Ice had been in bounds and only had one timeout, it would have made a lot more sense to just let the clock run. Second and goal. 20 seconds now. Vic, Pick. quick throw. Oh, oh almost next way, next way, picked next way, off. Next way, next way, next way, next way, next way. Next Ray way. Lewis I'm got his hands way. on it. Next way, AKG, next way. And then Ward couldn't scoop it up. AKG has seen that play before. He mans up Okoye with Ray Lewis, and that's why that pass got broken up. Should have been a pick. Should, the game should have been over. Third and goal now from the 10. Watch the post of the running back here. Motions out Moss. Here comes the, he is okay. picked up by ah! Prime Tom Deion Sanders. And he will swag a bit and lay Whoa. down at the 31. Great adjustment there by AKG. Man's up Deion Sanders. That isn't no Troy Apke. That isn't like Brandon that Wilson in so man coverage. That, That's man. Deion Sanders. He's going to make those plays. Go game, my boy. You can see the love when it's all over. Go, AKG man. has finally beat Ice. <laughs> he is going to be in the final for the second straight year. And for the first time ever, we're going to have a brand new New York Jets club champion as the two-time winner, Ice, has been eliminated. That one felt good if you're AKG. You haven't been able to get over this hump. Haven't beat, don't care about Ice, and now you have. Just go get the game. Go get the championship done. You already, you got to kind of come down a little bit, though. You know what I mean? You, this can't be your high. You know, you have to be ready for the next game and get it done. Let's take a look out. AKG got it done here in the semifinals against Ice. And I tell you what, this Michael Vick, you thought it might be a problem, but especially on this opening play, I mean, there was under 50 seconds to go in the half. That was a big one. That was a big one. And, you know, AKG just played some poor coverage there. He didn't play very safe. He looked like he had a deep half on one side and a third on the other. You're just not going to be able to stop a poster out that way. Great juke from Portis here, and then he would outrun Wilson for the touchdown, and that would put AKG back in the lead. And Clint Portis has been the jukebox theme. You know, the, the jukebox Clint Portis has been the theme of the tournament. And this was a great two point call right there with the double hitches, just kind of spread out the zone, dumped it in there. That low throw was huge for the two point. And then Torrey Holt would turn on the afterburners here. And all of a sudden we were tied at 14 going into the fourth quarter. Really, really good by ice right there. It's a little bit, some people don't like throwing that route that's not at the first down marker yet. Just. Stayed patient, threw it there, racked it, got up the field. That might have been the play of the game right there. Oh, yeah, that, that playmaker. It didn't look like that pass was going to get completed, but AKG has those great defensive backs. Ice did not. So those defensive backs weren't reacting as well for Ice because he doesn't have them out there. And in the red zone, it would be prime time. Deion Sanders would seal the game, and he would lay down, and AKG knows he's finally done it. He's beaten Ice with just one more game to play. You see the Madden love. But AKG still got some work to do as you look at the bracket. Evil Ken, you wanted it, you got it. There's the final. It's going to be Ken and AKG, who's right now standing by with them. Yeah, I, I knew he had to win because it would be the biggest height disparity of the person I would have to interview. AKG, 6'7", I believe, six, and eight. obviously 6'8". Yeah. Okay, had to correct me, and a great Madden player as well. <laughs> Congrats, man. There's been a little bit of a story between that matchup right there. You want to walk us through it in your, in your own words? Uh... Yeah, pretty much he comes in my club and beats me. So I feel the way because I love this team and I want to represent it. So I make sure I finally got it done this time. You know, when you say he came to my club, that yeah. means you have a lot of respect and a lot of love for the Jets, right? Yes, they are. Yeah, I've, like I first moved here in America in 2009, uh, and my neighbor was a Giants fan. So I just picked the other team. And, you know, <laughs> and it's ever since then, up and down. But I love this, uh, you know, club and uh, I'll always keep doing it. So you're all about yelling yeah. at people who are right next to you, right? Your neighbor no, first, no. now don't care about ice. <laughs> you're getting vocal no. out there. How did that go and what was that emotion uh, going through you in the game? Well, it's because the game is, you know, it goes here and there, but sometimes I let it get the best of me. I just got to yeah. you know, calm down and then yeah, you play, my, yeah, play my game. It seems like that hyped you up, though. That did help you stay focused. And it even did. at the very end, it was still a close game. You thought he might be able to tie it up in overtime. Then you get that pick. What was going on in your mind when that happened? You stood up, just let uh, it out. Yeah, he had a he had a play before that. I believe it was stick, and he threw a corner out. So I was like, all right, cool. I can't keep leaving these deep blues. I threw out a soft squad out there, and um, I dropped the pick. 
But then I told myself on to the next play. I knew he was going <laughs> to make the same read again. You know, so I just sent heat at him, and he don't like pressure. Yeah. You know, and um, he made a bad read. I made sure I clicked on that last time, and I picked it up with Dion. You made it happen, man. Uh, let's talk about the finals. Now you're moving on. What do you know about Evil Ken? What have you prepared for him? Obviously, halfway done, you still have to win that game in order to represent the Jets. I'm ready for him. He beat me, um, and he sent me to the loser's bracket, which made me feel a type of way. So now we got to play in the finals. <laughs> Can we expect more yelling or, or less yelling? No, nah, literally less yelling. Okay. I'll be calm because right. it messes me up when I yell a little bit more, and um, I got to know that. I hope not, man. I don't think anybody can throw you out of the building. You're, you're way it. too big for Thank that. You. Thanks so much. The finals are set for the Madden 20 New York Jets Club Championship, and it's a good one.